Could your lithium-ion battery start your laptop on fire? Stay tuned. In 2006, there was a massive recall of PCs containing lithium-ion batteries. At that time, PC Pit Stop commissioned D2 to do an experiment to see if a laptop could catch on fire. It did. It's been seven years, so we looked into what's been done to address the safety of lithium-ion batteries. Lithium-ion batteries are in lots of products, so government agencies have addressed the problem somewhat. The airline industry limits what and how these batteries are transported, and the U.S. Post Office has implemented regulations as well. And at least one PC manufacturer warns you, on the box, that there is the potential for fire. But has anyone implemented any safety measures? Let's ask a battery expert. At D2, we researched the market and found many companies and a few individuals have tried to come up with a solution. But we have not uncovered any evidence that they are any safer. So after all these years and continued uncertainty, we wanted to see if lithium ion batteries in laptop computers were still as volatile. You decide. This is a controlled demonstration. Do not try this at home. The first lithium ion battery cell just vented. You can also hear small pops, which are electrolytic capacitors. They're like small bass. After a few seconds of smoke, the second cell vents violently. Then, two more cells quickly erupt. Like a small volcano, the fifth cell is projected about 10 feet from the laptop. Now the fire is burning the LCD display. This is a very dangerous fire. It is an electrical fire, a chemical fire, and worst of all, it is a metal fire. Unlike most fires, lithium fires do not need external oxygen. They have everything they need to keep burning inside the cell. So do not try to cover it with a blanket or smother it or extinguish it with water. Throwing water on this fire could be catastrophic. It could cause an explosion or at the very least could scatter the fire particles to other areas. To put this type of fire out, you need to use a class D fire extinguisher. So it took less than one minute from the first hint of smoke to the computer being completely engulfed in flames. What would happen if someone had been sitting at this computer? What if while you were at home or at work, your computer went up in flames? Let's see. It doesn't take a battery expert to tell us we should be getting out of the way at this point. But let's check in with Tony to see why this is happening. First, let's watch the eruption of the cells from various angles to see all the different directions the fire goes. This type of violent eruption can happen when there's a short circuit inside the battery due to overheating, bad circuitry inside the battery, damage to the battery, or if the battery is overcharged or under-discharged. Thankfully, our participant is safe, but are you? Until someone comes up with other options, here's what you need to know. Don't use damaged or bulging batteries, and only buy lithium-ion batteries from reputable sources. And of course, get away immediately if you see or smell smoke or fire. We are concerned about your safety. For more information on this topic or any other PC-related issue, just visit our website.